So this demo is going to show one of Leap Motion's experimental modules in Unity. Uh, this one is going to show Leap Motion playback and recording. So here's the hierarchy recorder, and you press F5 to start recording. I'm also using the playback recorder to save it as an asset. Does a pretty good job with each hand going over each other. Hands are still colliding into each other though. But if they're kept apart, should be good. You can kind of see it wrap around a finger. Oh, yep, yeah, and the hand disappears. Every time the hand disappears, a new color pops up for them. Gonna hit F6 to stop recording. And Unity's gonna take a bit because just recorded a lot of frames. There we go. All right, now if we go down, this is the seventh recording I have saved. If we look at this prefab, it is our raw recording. And if you put it in the scene, you can build the playback prefab. And once you already build your playback prefab, you can delete the raw one. Uh, once again, did a lot of frames, so it takes a bit. And there's our timeline. Let's look at our timeline real quick. Yeah, capturing the main camera, camera rotation, position, all the leap motion frames and curves. Gonna put them pretty much in the same origin position, each pawn. And also created a student player so that it can model what the teacher will do. One little hacky thing I had to work around, which sure can be, which can definitely be fixed in code, is keep the main camera off the student player, then hit play, and then when you're ready to be the student, just turn on the main camera to follow the animation. And let's look at our rope again. And they they overlap pretty nicely. I, I definitely like all the ideas of maybe having a smaller hand fit in the larger hand. Um, can definitely get the wrists transforms out of this. If we want to do Leap Motion, Nick did show some nice demos today of the HoloLens 2 that I'm really excited about. Uh, but this Leap Motion, it's it's looking pretty good. Uh, just some overlap issues. It's not perfect, but there we'll show another experimental video uh, about seeing getting two Leap Motion controllers together and seeing if I can rearrange the wrist transformations of each. All right, thank you.